Hello everyone, it's me again, Sandy, and welcome to Canva Divas tutorial. So, um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add and customize um, charts and crafts in Canva. Let's just say, for example, you are making a presentation and you wanted to add a chart or a graph that will represent well your data. Well, you can now do that in Canva. So let's just go ahead and get this started. So first things first is I'm gonna go to Elements right here, and then let's just and here are your graphs and charts, pie charts and bar graphs. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Okay, so as you can see, you have there are like five items here with different values so let's say for example you have um you're now looking at your data and you wanted to customize this all you have to do is just go click here on data and then change each value right here so let's say for example um instead of item one i'm gonna name it a so you can actually rename your label here and then change the value to say 200 so there you go. Um, the graph changes as you customize your items and values. So say for example, item number two, I'm gonna change it to B and change it to um, say 90. There you go. And then C to 110. Then B to 115. And then item 5 to E, change the value again to 120. Okay. And you can actually add more um, item if you want to. So say I'm going to change this to F. Then I'm going to add 130. So there you go. You, instead of five you got now six so you can actually add more if you'd like to depends on your data now let's say for example you don't want to use a bar uh, I'm sorry a bar graph so you go here to style and you can actually change this maybe change it into this one or this one and even change it into your um, to a pie chart like this one and when you change that the values and items stays the same as you can see so I'm gonna place it right here and then just add your text to describe the data that you are presenting so add your text here All right, there you go. So that's how you can add and customize charge in Canva. I hope you find this helpful. Let me know if you have questions. I'll get back to you as soon as I can in any way I can. 